Yo, what's going on, 60 Sam Lender Squad? After three attempts to report a conquest, uh, I'm back because Jesus Christ, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So, um, <clears throat> here I am. Wah, 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 wah. Welcome back. All, all made up. Kind of sounds like ultimatum. So, today we're going full lifesteal Hebo because that sounds like a lot of fun. I don't get to play Hebo very often. So I'm going to full lifesteal Hebo whenever I have a chance. I've wanted to do this build for quite some time. But I never get Hebo open. You know, I stopped banning Hebo uh, because I wanted to get the build. But it doesn't seem like people like leaving him open. It seems almost, and correct me if I'm wrong. I saw you, you fucking dork. Damn, he used a lot of potions there, huh? Okay. It is down. Okay, he's better than me in every sense of the word. Whatever. No big deal, because he is backing now. I actually died of this, so never mind, fuck that. What a weird engagement. What a very, very weird engagement. We got his Aegis, though. So it's definitely a win for me. I don't know. That was just weird, bro. His early game is strong, don't get me wrong, but is it strong enough to do shit like that? I don't know. I don't know. We're exactly even in gold. But I am, uh... Oh, I guess he's double buffing right now. I'm gonna just let this kill each other out then. Or not, I guess. Uh, he's got a speed buff on, and I can't catch him. Speed buff plus is passive. He's running all the way back. Pretty good, dude. That means he loses a whole wave. I'm level 5. Um, this is a really, really weird game so far. I'm alting this buff because I want to be able to take it, and I don't want to be here for when he gets back because he's going to be real fucking angry, so. Let's go ahead and get this. There we go. Pretty good, man. This, like, hyper-aggression Bologna game is weird because... It, Bologna is a very strong early game, but the way he's playing it makes it seem like he thinks he's unkillable, which is not the case. I mean, I guess it is if he has speed buff, because I can't actually catch up to him, but... Ouch. And you miss a minion. Got one. Wow. Oh, that was bad. Okay, he actually loses this fight so hard. He thinks I have ult. He thinks I have ult, which is why he ages. But I did not have ult because I ulted red buff. <laughs> He just because he was pretty sure I was going to ult that, but no. This actually kind of strikes me as a 5 minute surrender, because 
He's playing really aggressive and it's not working out. And normally people that do that just surrender at 5 if their aggression doesn't pay off for really early first blood. So this strikes me as a 6. Or a, a 5 minute surrender. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because I would love a, a full out Hebo game. I just never get to play him. So, you know. <laughs> we'll see. Like, losing that much HP to Minion Wave just strikes me as I'm going to surrender the game. So. Because he practically already has, you know? Didn't kill him. Unfortunate. He dies here, though. I don't know why he walked back up. But it's alright. I guess. Here comes the surrender. And there it is. Right on time. Right on time. Well. Let's see if we can double feature Hebo then. I guess. Who knows. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Because I'm stupid and ugly and it- Oh wow, that was a really fast Q. GG. I only did 800 more damage than him exactly. Nice Hebo pick. He left. Well, I thought it was a nice Hebo pick. Hopefully we can get a second one. Uh, let's ban Kamazots. I'm going to kind of waste bans a little bit because I want Kibo open. Shit. Whatever. Not a double feature Hebo game, but at least we got a Hebo game, you know? At least there was a Hebo in the game. Yeah, <laughs> like I'll take it. Whatever. Works for me. Um, And I guess we'll just do like a double feature super OP game. And I'll just like play Hoi or something. Because this got super broken. Come to me, my spirit animals. Alright, let's see what we got. Soul. I'm gonna rip the soul right out of your body, dude. Holy shit. Ba ba da 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 ba da 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 Let's see, uh, Bracer, I guess. I mean, he doesn't really have any CC. He messaged me. 2017, I'm so sorry. What a bad year to find me. <laughs> I, uh, dude, I like, I, I think I said it yesterday, but 2017 and 2018 were such a bad year for me. Like mentally, I was so depressed. I was so down on myself and I was in such a bad place and 2018 December is when I turned everything around, you know, and those people that like this guy who find me and at 2017 or 2018, I really do feel bad for them because they like found me at my worst, you know, but you know, find me at my worst, you deserve me at my best. So here we are slightly tilted and calling in my best. Slightly tilted from the Conquest games, not the other, not the Hebo game. Hell yeah. Columbia? Shout out Columbia? Ouch. I just recently found out that um, Washington, D.C. stands for the District of Columbia. Which, you know, when you say it out loud, it makes sense. But when you don't say it out loud, it's like, wait, really? You know? Like... <laughs> Found that out, I think it was yesterday, maybe two days ago, potentially. Well, oh, okay, that didn't go anywhere near him, but I'll take it, I guess. Oh. Oh, Maruski, I thought I had him. 
Is this a video? Oh ho ho, yes it is, sir. Oh, I double bounced the shit out of him. That's why you never stand in front of tower, by the way, when you're fighting Hawaii, because double bounces really happen a lot. And um, you'll be big fucking dead if it hits you. At least if I had more than one item, or like more than a tier 2 item, you would be dead right now. I'm not really trying to hit him, I'm just kind of trying to clear and like get some stank on him if I can. Let's go back. I got my transcendence online and enough for two potions. Pretty sure he's doing red buff, which is all Gucci to me, my man. All Gucci to me. Let's game. I see that red buff on you. You see my transcendence? Damn. Darn tootin'. This guy's got good positioning. Good positioning. Oh. It didn't hit him. My auto didn't hit. Oh, that actually would have killed him. Holy shit. That would have been so sick. That was going to hit me. I know. He knows it, dude. He knows it. He, <laughs> he knows it. Hell yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I almost picked it up. I want speed buff. I would like him not to take my tower here. Ow. That did a lot of damage to me. I want to go one shot Hoi, dude. Where do I aim this bitch? Close enough. Alright, we got his beads there. Find my me. I'll take it. It's all about successfully running, man. Winning fights is who runs better. In this match, at least. He has a lot more healing than I do. By a lot more, I mean like literally any, so. It doesn't hit me. Let's kill my entire wave, though. Alright. Damn, that, uh, that lifesteal is doing a lot of work for him. Maybe I should get a Toxic Blade, huh? Red buff is up. I guess he didn't have the mana to uh, to want to go for here. Alright, I mean pretty simple stuff really. We're just farming and taking whatever fights I feel like I can do well in. Like this one right here, I think is all me. Well, I missed my stun. If I didn't miss my stun, that was actually a win. Oh, God. He 
his healing is becoming somewhat outrageous. He's actually giving me this to clear the wave and heal up and then probably fight afterwards. Oh, he doesn't want to fight. Alright. Tier 1 Toxic. He might be going to my blue. It would actually be the best play for him, but it doesn't seem like he did. He was just waiting in lane. We got the Booty Crofts online. Alright, let's see. How much is Toxic Blade 1650? I can afford that during this fight, like after I'm done backing. He's very strong because he has lifesteal advantage over me right now. So my entire game plan is to just hit the farm game really fucking hard. I just want to hit the farm game super hard and uh, get as far ahead of him as I can. And that's kind of just the play, right? Like, I have four buffs and majority of minion camps right now, so... Her buff spawns soon. Again, my game plan is not to fight, but if I can poke him a little bit to, to scare him off my red buff, then I will. That did a good 300 to him. Alright. So he's just healing up. Kind of wish he would go aggro there, but he said he knew. <laughs> all right, all he's doing is healing up, so I want to I want to make sure that I'm, like I said, farming as efficiently as possible, because he gets his blue buff here. So because he's getting his blue buff, I want to get his speed buff and back again. Just go XE, I guess. Because um, I can't I can't win a fight right now. He's too defensive, so not like he has too much defense items or something. That's not at all what I mean, but um, he's too defensive in the the way that he plays. Basically, he's holding his his three really well and his beads and his relics and shit. So because he's playing well, um, I have no kill opportunity. So I have to make sure that I'm farming as efficiently as I possibly can. I don't actually care about fighting, like I said, so just more farm. I, uh, ever since I started hyper farming this game, I got really far ahead. Good positioning. Two of the two and then ran away, no big deal, whatever. Back to farming. Got his blue, but I would like to get the timer on it. Alright. Pretty sure he's gonna back here. 
Hit him hard. There's a lot of life steal, so that big hit doesn't scare him that much, but it does buy me a little bit of time because he has to life steal to get that health back. You know, he has to hit shit, so. We drop red, we back, we get our Aussie because I want Aussie because I have transcendence. And then we start going to the uh, penetration, which is probably Xy. I could go defense here, maybe a pestilence wouldn't be bad, but. Okay, I suck. Alright. He lived, his speed buff is up, which means I want it. I'm just farming, you know? Just farming. I'm 1k ahead now. 1.2k ahead, really. Pick this up. This blue just came up, so... Because I have Aussie, I can actually do this pretty aggressively. Just auto this wave down. Keep my healing up. Um, Alright. He doesn't want to miss the uh, XP from the wave. I'm two levels ahead right now. I'm farming so fucking hard. Tower here. Very fast. Jesus Christ. His move speed is so fast. Um, I have really fast attack speed though because the build I went and because I hyper farmed so hard I'm a 2k ahead of him, you know So Yeah, we get Phoenix here He doesn't win the fight Then I go back to hyper farming so that I can keep affording my build Not bad man Not bad Um, for those of you who don't know, I normally don't play tryhard like this, but I just decided to try hard this game because I guess the way he was playing was like very defensive and I knew if I didn't do anything kind of extra than what I normally do in these kinds of videos, then I would just lose because late game his autos would just beat me, right? So um, I had to hit up the hyper farm game and I, I pretty much just showed you guys how like if you're not fighting, don't be afraid to ult the buff, you know? I don't plan on fighting him. Like, I, I, cause I, cause I can't, cause he plays defensive, you know? So, because he's playing defensive and because I can't fight, and because I am scared of his late game, all of those things combined mean alt buffs, get as far ahead as you can and keep it going. His Aegis, so. I knew that wouldn't really do anything, but what it does do is push him back and let me hit Titan pretty hard. And that is GG, brother. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little double feature. Um, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.